prophecy. I pray for an accident of a ship. In Jesus' name I prayed. The sinking boat is part of a potential criminal investigation, with dozens of bodies believed to be trapped underneath. Passengers were heading to the regional capital on this wooden boat when it capsized. The boat had three separate levels. All of them were full of people and their belongings. There were hundreds of passengers, including kids. Older men and women were swallowed by the water. I myself lost five members of my family. These people had relatives on board. And now they're using fishing nets to recover bodies. Survivors say the boat was carrying too many people and too much cargo, including bags of cement. Crossing lakes and rivers after nightfall is illegal in the DRC. At least three port agents are under arrest for allowing the boat to leave. And the owner and members of the crew are under investigation. I'm horrified and heartbroken. This tragedy is the result of fraudulent behavior. On Friday evening, a boat owner and his crew undertook to travel at night despite our ban on nighttime crossings. Unfortunately, they defied it, and that resulted in the events we all deplore. Onlookers do what they can to help, but finding out how many people were on board is difficult. Business people here are always hiding the data and authorities don't share honest information because they're the ones in charge of registering all the passengers before each trip of the river. Travel by boat is commonly used in the DRC. Waterways link areas that are unconnected by roads. And with limited regulation, that makes disasters like these more likely. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.